Hey, what is up you guys? It's Fridays on my channel, which I like to review either music or YouTubers. And in case you can't tell by my fedora and Fall Out Boy sweater, we're going to be talking about Fall Out Boy. So Fall Out Boy is, you know, this little small band from Chicago that only released a handful of albums and, you know, but not really that big. JK, they're all over the radio. Not so much this year because they don't really have a new album quite yet, but last year you couldn't get anywhere on the radio without hearing like Uma Thurman or Centuries. But Fall Boy is a really great band. They were actually the first band I saw live and they were pretty phenomenal. Uh, honestly, of all the bands I've seen, they're not the best live, but they definitely give you a show. And Patrick Stump, of course, with his vocals is just... Wonderful. I guess I'll just kind of go through the albums, tell you what I think of them. So first up, we have Take This To Your Grave, which is your classic pop punkish, more punkish album. They really had like a mixture of kind of like the Blink-182 as kind of like pop punkiness, but they also had their kind of like hardcore-ish roots. And of course you got Joe Troman with his like spinnies and you got Patrick doing his like cool little vocal stuff that only gets better and higher every album. Uh, overall the album's pretty solid. There's nothing on there I hate, but there's also nothing that super stands out. I mean, Grand Theft Auto, that was pretty good. Uh, Dead on Arrival, basically all the ones that are like on the greatest hits, those are really awesome, but they also have a lot of other good ones like Painter Saints of Liars and Cheaters. I want to say and cheaters, but like on my car, it never finishes the whole line, so I assume that's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, the whole album is pretty fantastic, and definitely check it out. So after that, we have from Under the Cork Tree, which is where they really started taking off. They already had their biggest hit, Sugar, We're Going Down, which of course is every emo kid's favorite thing to jam to. Uh, trust me, I've been to some emo nights, emo nights here, and they go bananas for that. <laughs> uh, but they also have like dance dance and stuff like that, which everything, like I said, is good on that album. One of my personal favorites on the album was Sophomore Slump or Comeback of the Year, which is just really cool, and the bridge is even better, because like just starts so small that just mm, builds. But From Under the Cork Tree is a pretty solid album, has lots of great songs, uh, has the usual super long titles, and it's a, just a wonderful album. Okay, next we have Infinity on High, which is the album that is their... This is where they definitely started going super popular, super mainstream. This one had Thanks for the Memories, and it's just so fantastic of an album. Some of my personal favorites are Thriller because it's another song that bounds their pop punk with their hardcore because you know they like to go metal sometimes. Uh, I mean Thank for Memory is always a good one to jam to. This ain't a scene. It's an arms race. It's so hard to pick favorites and this album especially was just really good, really solid. I would recommend you listen to this album straight through. And then listen to it again, because at the very end of the last track, it does that weird robotic Stephen Hawking thing, and it's like, press repeat. And you're just like, I don't wanna, but I'm gonna. And if you still use CDs, you can just let it, you know, cycle through again and re-listen to it or if you have a phone just restart it or whatever but it's a really good album and I would definitely recommend it. So the next album is Folly Ado which was the album that everyone shit on. They just didn't like it even though it has some of their deepest lyrics in my opinion. Uh, they got a lot of just great songs. They got those fun like anthem songs like I Don't Care but then the Disloyal Order of the Water Buffalo, that was just, it's great. That was great live. They played that when I went to go see them and it was fantastic. 
of course every emo kid's crying song, What I Kept Donnie, that's just a sad song and you just want to belt to the top of your lungs, which I do every time it comes on in the car. Uh, it's really sad. I may have cried a couple times. Anyway, but the music video is also pretty cool. Got like a nice little theme of just like Patrick on a boat and he's like, oh, this is all cool. Then he sees like a boat that's on fire and it's like everyone's just like trying to get saved. So he saves the band and he saves Brendan Urie and a bunch of other people and yeah. But not for the music video. But <laughs> they had a lot of great songs like Head Slide Person to Cooperstown and just literally everything. So just like Infinity on High, this is another one that I can just listen to straight through and honestly this is my favorite album by Fall Out Boy. It's just, it's unique and it still kind of has their own little flares. Next we have their comeback album after they took a three, three and a half year hiatus and they came out with Save Rock and Roll, which everyone made the joke, oh it's not Save Rock and Roll, it's the reason why it's me saving it in the first place. Well, you know what? The album's good. The music video is even better because they made this like long, like 45 minute music video, technically. They basically had a music video for each song, and so it became like one cohesive story. You get to see the band eat body parts, you get like Patrick without a hand, or was it Pete without a hand? Someone lost a hand, and it was really sad. It was really creepy. But yeah, basically it's just like one long horror story. Basically the band gets kidnapped and tortured. It's really dark music video and people die. Like everyone. But they get to go to heaven and... They got freaking Elton John is the rock and roll Jesus up there. Gives them little picks his communion bread and you know it's no normal heaven stuff I guess is that heaven do you, do you get like white instruments white clothing and you just like jam to say rock and roll which is in my opinion the best song on the album it's got Elton John just got kind of like that just kind of anthemic thing to it so it just really energizes you. But like I said, this this is a good album. It's got lots of energy. The first song just really punches you in the face. Just it punches you. There's like moments where it slows down, got young volcanoes and stuff like that where it just slows down kinda more melodic and fun. But they still have their like electronic hardcore like punchy kind of songs too. And next we go on to American Beauty, American Psycho, which is their album from like two years ago at this point. And it's a pretty solid album, not as solid as their previous efforts, but still had some fun songs. Uma Thurman with their Monsters sample, that was pretty rad, and Irresistible's just fun to sing, honestly. So they had like a, some good songs, some in my opinion were kind of weak. Like, Kids Aren't Alright, 4th of July, those songs just felt really weak to me. Felt like they needed just more. But if you ever want to try and just destroy your voice, try and sing along, sing to Novocaine. Because he goes from like his bassiest note to his highest note in like one lyrical phrase. And it's really fun to do, but you're gonna break your voice. It's gonna go bad. That's basically my rundown of all the albums. They were all really good. Some were, of course, stronger than others, but Fall Out Boy is a band that's really near and dear to me, of course, because I got the little thing, which actually, it's New Orleans specific, so that was really cool. And honestly, the whole reason I got this hat was because Patrick had, now that was a cool fashion statement. I've got some compliments. The chick who played Barbara Gordon, I think it was Barbara Gordon, in the show Gotham, I saw her at Comic-Con a couple years ago, and she complimented the hat. So, you know what? For all you haters out there, 
torn flat. I'm sorry, that was a little too sassy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Internet. But anyway, hope you enjoyed my rundown. Uh, be sure to give them a try, listen to their stuff. They came out with some, a couple singles recently. Definitely weird, but after a few listens, you can dig it. But if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other bands you want me to talk about. I'm sure I'll obviously at some point get to Blink-182, Panka Disco, Weezer. But I will say, this is my first episode of this, but I will not do any bands that are country, hip-hop, rap. I want to focus on stuff that like I know I love so I can kind of critique it when needs it, but just show it nothing but love. So yeah, that's in the, the video and I'll see you losers later. Bye.